kusimamia kiti cha NCA makina hoi uh, lazima tuulize kwa sababu hatuna uhakika labda umekuja hapo unataka kusimamia kiti kingine ambacho hakiki kwa hiyo ni hicho hicho kiti ambacho unataka kusimamia karibu sana una dakika 15 na muda wako unaanza sasa unaweza ukatumia Kiingereza ama Kiswahili kujibu maswali ambayo ukatumia na tafadhali uwe very short kwa sababu hakuna muda Nataka kujua huyu Amina ni nani hapa na utaambia academic qualifications zako na professional qualifications Okay shukran salamu alaykum tena Salamu kwa majina naitwa Amina Adam Uh, mimi ni mama, mimi ni mke uh, na mimi ni dada. Um, mimi ni mkaji wa Kibra. Um, and um, let me speak in English. Yeah, I'm, I'm a resident of Kibra, constituency. I was born in Sumu town, uh, but relocated to Kibra. I am a community social worker. I am a social mobilizer. I am also trained in um, computer and secretarial skills, that is my business currently. And um, I'm also a politician. So in the, in the academic qualifications about uh, secretarial, you say, what level was it? Certificate, diploma? Okay, I trained in various um, skills. One, I trained Uh, first of all, I trained as a, as a um, agricultural extensionist. That is immediately I completed my form four, and I did have a, get a chance to be absorbed by the government. So I switched my my career to do secretarial skills, and I did it up to diploma, computerized secretarial skills, and that is helping me now to run my business. Besides that, I also trained as a community social worker, um, and that is also helping me run an organization that uh, I work for, which is the Red Matter Allah Community Development, and it is uh, supporting the community. So you want to be an MCA of Makina? Yeah. So what are the four roles of an MCA? Uh, first of all, an MCA, um, the, the first thing is uh, a legislator. Um, Secondly, an MCA, an, an MCA is, um, you know, apart from legislation, he also works um, to represent the constituents. For instance, uh, issues that are um, experienced in the constituents or in the wards, the MCA normally takes them to the county assembly to discuss them, or that other that way around. Uh, in case an uh, issue is discussed in the county assembly, she also brings it, or he brings it down to the uh, county, uh, I mean the ward, to confirm with the residents. Do you have any exposure in politics or experience? Sure, I do. Um, currently, I am uh, the secretary Makina Ward on the party. Um, also working for ODM in a slightly higher level. I'm working with uh, uh, Ruth Odinga in her office as a presidential board mobilizer. Um, in 2017, I also vied, but I did not reach nominations because we realized this forum was not there by then. We realized there were so many um, aspirants from the same community and there was a big challenge. So. I mobilized my fellow aspirants, and we sat down, and I, I, uh, I mean, I, I uh, drew out from the rest. So my name was in the ballot box, but I was not actually buying that thing. What contribution have you made to the Muslim community? Um, in terms of projects, etc. Thank you so much. Um, I ran an organization named Red Mat Allah Community Development Group, an organization that is working for the community in Kibra. Since its inception, I think the organization has empowered the youth in terms of skills. We have trained drivers, I think some are here. We have trained uh, tailors, 
We have trained uh, mechanics and even currently I'm um, training um, computer skills for those who cannot afford to pay. Um, we have also empowered uh, women uh, economically by training them on uh, business, business entrepreneurship and after that we give them uh, soft loans to uh, start businesses that uh, can boost their income. Currently, um, what I'm doing uh, within the organization, we are dealing with construction of masjids, um, madrasas, and slum schools. So far, we have constructed four masjids, one, two in Kamulu, um, and uh, one in Migori, and the other one in, uh, is in uh, Moyale. And uh, in terms of uh, madrasa, we have done two madrasas in Kibra, uh, in Makina Constitution, Makina World, sorry. In any election, you, any politician must have a roadmap, an agenda, why you are going to introduce a position. So do you have a written manifesto? Yes, I do. Though I didn't carry it with me, because I have my manifesto open. Well, what are the challenges looking to the people of Makina World Manifesto? First and foremost, um, where I reside, that is in Makina, there's a lot of uh, drug and substance abuse. So in my, my manifesto, I, I, um, I think we shall um, work with the abusers of drugs by empowering them, you know, training them on skills that they can embrace as their, uh, as their basic social, I mean, economic income, um, part of economic um, boosting. So we will also, uh, I'm imagining maybe one day Kibra will have a rehabilitation center for the same, so that we do not have so many drug abusers. From there, maybe they can be trained within the rehabilitation center. The other thing is infrastructure. Um, on infrastructure, I will lobby because the work of an NCA is not to, to do the physical work. I lobby and uh, oversee the construction of uh, or the maintenance or improvement of the different infrastructures like roads and hospitals. Um, I'll also work with the women because um, women, there's a lot of gender-based violence and if you empower a woman, I believe the woman will be able to uh, bring enough income into the, because most we realize from my experience as a community social worker, uh, most women or uh, violence within their homes normally occur because the women are so much relying on their husband for everything even solved. So when we empower the women economically, I think we will reduce the gender-based violence in home. I mean, in an election, uh, you need money as an aspect. Sure. You have the money. Um, I do have the money, but money is never enough. I believe money will never be enough. So whatever it is, uh, money I have, I will use for my campaigns. I will also source for support from well-wishers and my partners who support my uh, endeavors. So I believe um, I will have enough money for my campaign. Are you aware that uh, the electoral laws allows up to how much for an MC? Um, not quite sure, but um, if I have like for me myself, I know I can raise up to around five million. Though electoral laws allow, um, three point five up to four. Yeah. What what's in the budget? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she said money is there right now. Sure. Um. So you have a, a written budget for this particular election? Yes. Still working on it. It's not complete. Um, in terms of your strategy for winning the election, um, what are those One, because I'm a community social worker, I have worked with so many groups, women groups, youth groups. Uh, you know, um, I would like to say I'm a silent uh, politician, and I'm, a, I'm somebody who, who works and don't make noise. Maybe I don't walk around and blow my own whistles. Maybe people think, people think that Amina 
does not campaign you. But anyway, what I do speak for you. What so is the strategy? My strategy is talking with the, the, the people that I have worked with, the women group, the youth group, mm -hmm. and my community at, at large. All right, so um, within the community, and the people you're talking about that you also want to uh, lead and guide, how many votes do you feel that you require, or do you think that you require to be able to win the MCA um, seat in Makina West? During nomination or the general election? <coughs> Give us votes. Okay, in Makina Ward, um, <coughs> if I have 2,000 votes, I think I'm safe. During nomination? During nomination, um, yes, but uh, during election, the general election, I'm um, eyeing um, three to five thousand votes. All right. Um, and how many out of the three thousand that you're looking at? How many registered voters do you think are there in Makina? In Makina, we have um, close to twenty-five thousand registered voters. And you want three thousand. So that is on the lower side. All right. yeah. how many do you so have? How, so how many do you have at the moment? Out of the two thousand? Um I've got roughly not out of the three thousand, out of the five thousand that I'm eyeing it. Eh? All right. Uh, roughly I've got uh, three thousand four hundred and fifty. Two thousand four hundred and fifty. Sure. And then um so what strategies do you propose to employ to be able to get the number that will clinch you that seat? Um, well, my strategies are door-to-door um, -door campaign. Uh, the next uh, strategy is that I'll appoint um, representatives in every ward, in every area, for instance, in Makina in, uh, Makina area, in um, Sumudogo, DC, Karanja Road. So that uh, I've got a social mobilizer in the field. All right. Um, so do you have anything else to add? Because you have three minutes before we give it um, to the panelists to ask uh, extra questions. 